Hello, um, my name is Susan Martin. Um, my native name is Magua, which means Mother Bear. I'm Korean Sioux Mix. I don't. I was denied my heritage for most of my life till I was 44 years old. I was told I was Ukrainian, Scottish, Russian, Irish, and French. I'm not. <laughs> and I believe it was because of the residential school that my parents did it and a scoop. Uh, so I'm just learning about who I am as an indigenous woman. My daughter, Terry Ann Daphne, was murdered in 2002 in Calgary, Alberta, in domestic violence, leaving three small children behind at that time. My husband and I, <laughs> we had to be checked out. We lived here in Ontario, Ontario when she was murdered. Um, we went out to Calgary. What people didn't know about my husband and I is Terry was our second child. I lost Terry's older sister when she was three years old in, in Calgary due to health problems. So they were worried about my well-being, my safety. Um, I'm not going to lie, I was suicidal. I wanted to die. I was scared of every human being, man, woman, or child, looking at them, are you a murderer, are you a murderer, are you a murderer? When we went to Calgary, we were interrogated um, by child welfare to even see my daughter's three children. I'm happy to say though, in May, I went out to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan with Family Success and Launch, the Families and Sisters in Spirit fundraiser, and I've gone out to Saskatoon and Calgary and Hal Vigil, did the news and talk about our loved ones that have been murdered and have gone missing. I actually got to see my child's three children without him stopping me for the first time in 10 years. So it's the second time my grandchildren thought their mom died like on the second or I absolutely don't know. Your mom was taken in a very, I had to watch how I was saying it because it's their father that's the only person of interest in our child's case. Says your mom was taken from you in a very horrendous manner. And I said, I can promise you one thing, that your Grammy and your Papa will never ever stop seeking justice for your mom, the person that's responsible for taking her away from you and taking her away from us. I told him about their seven-year-old, well, she's been doing it since she became, what, four years old now? Going up on Parliament Hill, going to vigils with me and talking about how she, she doesn't know her auntie, how her auntie was taken away what it's not like to, to have an auntie's love. And this is a seven-year-old. Math matter, Kristen knows her, Colleen knows her. We went to the clothesline project a couple weeks ago, and I never told her what to put on her t-shirt. She put, my auntie was murdered before I was born. That's coming out of a baby's mouth. Like, a baby should not feel that. A baby should not know what it's like to go through this, but this baby does, my granddaughter does. I also did a walk last year with Walk for Justice halfway across Canada for our murdered and missing women to be a voice because we are the voices. I don't care what kind of lifestyle you live. No one has the right to take another human being's life unless your life is in danger, unless your family's life is in danger. Then you have the right to defend yourself, but just because we don't like you because of your skin color or your lifestyle, that's someone's mother, that's someone's daughter, that's someone's sister, that's someone's auntie, that's someone's cousin, that's someone's friend. And it's, like Kristen said, it's, it's a rippling effect for many, many, many generations and stuff. And our loved ones should be here with their families. They should be raising their children. They should be able to come up and say, hey, how's it going? I love you, I miss you. But we don't get that. Our justice system sucks. Stephen Harper sucks. <laughs> I will always go up on Parliament Hill to raise awareness. I will always do the vigils. Next year, I'm going out to Calgary. It will be the 11th anniversary of April 29th since our daughter was murdered. I'm buying a brand new headstone for my baby's grave to lay her sister to rest with her. There's going to be a big media frenzy. The police don't care. I have to do what I have to do to bring awareness and to touch people and make 
you guys feel. I'm sorry. We live with this on a daily basis. Daily is a struggle for each and every one of us. And I am so grateful for Bridget Tolley and Families Assist and the other families that I have known for the last seven years. Because when I get rock bottom, it's this family that picks me up and say, no, so you can't quit. We have to do it. No matter what, we have to do it. And it's not easy sharing this story or telling our stories. But if it saves one woman's life and one family from going through what we're doing, then we're doing something. Because I don't want another mother, another grandmother, another sister, another daughter feeling what I feel in, inside here. So when you see another woman, being Aboriginal, yes, we're very high risk and stuff. Every day you see another young girl or another young mother gone missing. It's great awareness. It's stop this. This has to stop. This is an epi epidemic. And Stephen Harper is trying to sweep us underneath the carpet. He can't sweep us underneath the carpet because guess what? He doesn't fund us. Fund us. This is all volunteer work. Each and every one of us. I don't get paid for doing this. And I don't want to get paid for it do this and I don't want the notoriety or the fame that that some people say we get from this because it's not fame and it's not it's none of that it's something that we each and every one of us has has to do like I look at Sage calling Sutter and he said his aunties it breaks my heart because he shouldn't have to feel that and his children are going to feel it and thank God he's got a good mom that he's not going to turn to drugs and alcohol that we can guide him, that he's got the rest of the family when he hits rock bottom, like, hey, I need help. We're gonna be there. Like, I know family members right across Canada, right across Canada. Keisha Atkinson, her daughter, 14 years old, Nina Culpatty, brutally murdered by five people in the golf park, raped. Thank God the trial's finally over. They can no longer take this poor mother to court and her having to listen to what these monsters did to her baby girl. And it's us family members that are keeping Keisha going. Because when the trial, this last time the trial happened, I reached up to family members out in, in Edmonton, the Patton sisters, there's so many of them, okay? Like, so many, like, okay, our sister Keisha needs you. Because this is my family. I have two families. I have this family here and this family. And it's this family that I reach out and I touch. When another child goes missing, or another daughter, mother, whatever, murder, it's us that reaches out to the families. It's not the RCMP, it's not the police, it's not the news media. Yes, their friends care for a while. Yes, family members care for a while. But after a while, the family members and friends disappear in the background. It's us that keep that family going. It's us that reaches out to that family. My goal is, in this whole process, is when another woman goes missing or is murdered, that is this family that goes out and is dispensed in different parts of the province to that family because we do know what that family is going through, unfortunately. We can help guide them. We can help them take those steps that they need to take. And they're not easy steps, but it's us with the experience. It's us that walks this path. I dare each and every one of you just to take my shoe, take one step in what we're walking on this journey and none of us chose this journey but this is our journey and it's not an easy journey um i thank you i challenge each and every one of you guys to bring 10 people on october 4th to the hill for the vigil is fill up that hill yay kudos for 420 that they can get six thousand people to smoke pot on part of the hill but we can't get 500 people to bring awareness on the murder that is in canada when I did the walk, Gladys Raddick and Bernie Williams just had under 5,000 women that have gone missing murdered here in Canada. Now we believe that the man is even higher than the women. And we challenge the men to take that walk across Canada like the women have. I don't know if the men are going to do it. Um, the walk is not happening for the women anymore. Uh, but we are on top of the data, the information, um, my granddaughter went missing, I guess it was a month and a half ago, Natasha went missing. And I said to my daughter, I don't care if the picture is going out there. Natasha was right across the United States within a couple minutes. Within two hours, I located my granddaughter, which I am very 
very happy about that. She's safe and sound because where she lives up in northern BC, a lot of Aboriginal women go murdered and missing. So you're telling me I wasn't scared to death? I was very, 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 very scared. And my daughter did not want me to put my granddaughter's picture up there because of her circumstances and her father and stuff. And I said, I don't care. This is a 14-year-old child that needs to be found. You want to be pissy with me? Be pissy. Don't care. Love you. Gotta go. Hold her picture. Poosh. It's up on Unsolved Murder to Missing People in Canada. It's on Families Assist. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. Like, Sue, I live not too far away. What does she look like? Send me a picture. Well, here's her picture. Like, she was found within two hours. So I'm very, very grateful. And this is the kind of network that we have. And I'm grateful for that. Because if we can bring one child home, which we have, which we cried with tears of joy, yay, then we're doing something right, then we're doing something right. But I challenge each and every one of you guys to fill up Parliament Hill on October 4th for October 4th vigil for the murder to missing women and the families that I left behind. Because my child doesn't have a voice, I'm her voice. My grandchildren don't have a voice, I'm their voice. And many, many women's voices, just like Colleen said, just like Kristen said, there are many, many women voices that don't have a voice in them. Thank you, Nick, which...